The Upscale Filter is a new AI feature introduced in Substance 3D Sampler 4.2.0. You can use it to increase the resolution of your maps by a factor of 2 or 4. The AI upsamples the PBR channels by hallucinating details from the low resolution maps. Here is an example of a 1K scan leather material. We can see on the left the low resolution 1K leather material. In the middle, the same 1K leather upscaled to 2K with the upscale filter. On the right, the same 1K leather material, this time upscaled to 4K with the upscale filter. The upscale filter comes with new layer resolution options. To easily follow the upscaling of layers, this new version of Sampler display resolution by layers. We can click on the Show Layers Resolution button at the top of the layer stack to hide or show the resolutions. We also have access to layer resolution mods that give us complete control over the layers resolution in the layer stack. By default, the resolution mode is set to document size. Like previous version of Sampler, layers are forced to match the document resolution set on the top of the viewport here. If we work with high resolution images or scans, document size should fit our workflow. We can downscale all the layers to 1K to get responsive feedback during post-processing and at the end export in 4K without losing any definition. Now, if we work with low resolution images or scans and try to upsample them with the upscale filter, we should use the layer input resolution mode before the upscale filter. It will prevent Sampler from changing the resolution of our image before the AI upscales it to the desired size. Okay, let's have a look at the upscale workflow now. I'll use this 1K leather image and process it in the new image to material AI powered. In the import panel, we see the resolution of our image here. Sampler will automatically set the document size to the nearest highest power of two resolution. It means that the layer stack resolution will be relative to the document size. And Sampler will set this document size from the imported image size, here 1K. Now we can decide to upscale this 1K map by increasing the resolution directly in this panel. When we do that, the upscale material option becomes available. We can activate it and click on import. In the layer stack, we see our 1K image here, then the image to material that is set also to 1K. Finally, we see the upscale layer upsampling the layers below by a factor of 2, outputting 2K maps. Our document size on the top here is set to 2K, but the image to material below the upscale doesn't match this document size. It matches the size of the input image below. If we go in the properties panel and click on the resolution here, a drop down menu shows us that the image to material is set to layer input resolution mode. It means that the layer will always fit the resolution from the input image below. Sampler set it automatically at the import. This will prevent the layer stack to do a linear upscale before the upscale filter. Let's look at the result with and without the upscale filter. We can see that our material is much more detailed with the upscale filter. Now, if we want to export a 4K image, we can set the upscale filter to multiply by 4. Here the AI upsampled our 1K maps into very detailed 4K maps. From now on, all the layers we create will be set by default in document size, allowing us to work dynamically in the layer stack. Let's try it by creating a transform layer. We can see that its resolution is set to document size. It will always match the size we set on the top of the viewport here, 2K. We can continue to post-process our material in 2K and export at the end in 4K without losing any definition. But we must be careful about the order of the layers. For example, if we move the transform layer set in document size below the upscale, we are now breaking the input image resolution flow before the upscale. We can correct this behavior quickly by clicking on the arrow next to the show layers resolution icon and choosing one of these options. 
The layer input min option will change all the layers in the stack to match the resolution of the smallest imported image. The layer input max will change all the layers in the stack to match the resolution of the largest imported image. The document size option will change all the layers in the stack to match the document resolution. Here to solve the resolution flow, we can select the layer input min option. Now we can see that our material is much more detailed with the upscale filter. Finally, I will share some useful information about the upscale filter and the resolution mods. In the import window, if you forget to activate the upscale material option after increasing the document size, you'll see a pop-up window allowing you to add the upscale filter or continue without it. When you manually drop an upscale filter, a warning pop-up window will appear. You just need to make sure that all the layers below the upscale are in layer input mode. Try to avoid changing the resolution of your input image before the AI upscales it. The upscale AI doesn't work well with blurry maps due to linear upscaling. You can see that the upscale doesn't have a layer resolution mode. It always looks at the resolution from the layer below to upscale it by the factor you set. Also, procedural materials in the layer stack will always match the document size. Finally, you can set the default layer resolution in the Preferences panel of Sampler. This option sets by default all the layers you create with the resolution mode you have chosen here. The upscale filter is a powerful feature to upsample all your image-based material in Substance 3D Sampler. Managing well the resolution flow in your layer stack is key to make the upscale filter work correctly. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Stay tuned for new AI features in Sampler. Thanks again for watching.